What's going on guys? So today I'm going to do a overview of my $50 home theatre PC. Now this machine cost me $50. Um, if you're going to go out and buy all the parts to build another one, it probably won't cost, it'll probably cost you more. It's a fairly old system, it's Core 2 Duo, which is all you really need. It can play back full 1080p video at 60 frames per second, I believe. Um, it has HDMI, all the good stuff. It's really bare bones. As I said, it cost me $50. A similar spec system you could pick up on eBay for even less. In $5, people just throw those away because they're getting a bit old now. So first up, I'll just go over the outside of the unit first up. So we just have a IDE-based Samsung DVD drive. It's only a DVD player. It doesn't burn into discs. It came brand new in the box when I bought some of the other parts with this. I bought the system sort of half built, um, had no hard drive, no optical drive, no power supply or anything like that. I got the entire system really dirt cheap. So on the front here we've got, as I said, we've got the DVD-ROM drive. That's just a crack there where I cracked it carrying it home, so I had to glue it back together. Empty bays, and then we've got a fan controller here, and turn all the way down. The main reason why I've got that is the motherboard itself tends to run the fan a bit too high, even though the CPU itself is really cold. Um, it just has its minimum, temp minimum fan speed set pretty high. I don't know why, just something to do with it. Here we have the two front USB ports, microphone and headphone out, which I don't use. This thing in here is just the micro receiver for the wireless keyboard and mouse, um, a hard drive LED, power LED, and I've just colored them in a bit to make them a bit darker so it's not so bright at night. Uh, reset and power button. And then all the way down here we've just got a Gigabyte logo. Left side is just all black. This is a full ATX board, so this is the smallest case I could fit it in. And along the rear here we have the interesting stuff. We have the power supply. I bought, had to buy this one brand new when I got the system. Um, it's 550 watts. It's a silent one, so it has a big 120 mil fan on it. So it's really nice and quiet. You can't even hear it. Here's the entire rear I.O., which doesn't even get touched. This board has optical out and um, digital out. None of this I.O. really gets touched apart from the USB ports when I want to plug in like an external hard drive or something. And on the rear here we have the graphics card. It's a GT220, so it's not very very fast at all, but it plays back 1080p video fine. Um, DVI out, VGA out, they don't get touched. I just use straight HDMI out. The card supports audio over the HDMI 5.1, so I'm all set there. And here we have my wireless card. It's a wireless card out of a laptop. It supports wireless N up to 5 gigahertz, so I can get pretty fast bandwidth with that if I want. On the side here we have the side of the case. I've just blocked this bottom half of it up, just so it doesn't suck air backwards through itself. And you'll see why in a minute. It's a really strange case, by the way. It's really cheap. Okay, so inside the unit here, I'll just go over what, what's in there. Here's the cheap no-name power supply and the optical drive. You can see it's just IDE. In here we've got two 2 gigabyte DDR2 G-Skill sticks of RAM. So it's got four gigabytes of RAM. Here's the heatsink for the CPU. It's a Cooler Master. I can't remember which brand it is. It's got uh, three heat pipes. So it's pretty good. And a big fan on it, so it keeps it nice and cool. And under that we've got the another heatsink for the motherboard there. The motherboard model is it's a Gigabyte GAEP41UD3L. So it's a 775 socket. Core 2 Duo running at uh, 2.9 gigahertz, I believe similar to what I used to have in my main PC. Here's the graphics card itself. It's a Gigabyte branded GT220 with one gigabyte of video RAM, so it can handle 
as I said, it can handle HD video and some light gaming. Like I played Unreal Tournament 2004 on it this morning. Everything maxed out, and it ran at 60 frames per, frames per second, really butter smooth. So that's good. Here's my wireless card. You can't really see it. It's pulled out of a laptop, and it's just running off a PCI Express conversion board with an antenna on it, so nice and quiet, nice and low power too, so saves a bit of energy. And there's my mess of cables, it's a bit hard to see, I've just tried to do a bit of cable management, which is really hard in a cheap case like this, pull that aside, uh, this cable here is, oops sorry, this cable here is just going around the front to the fan controller which has a buzzer on it as well and it, it'll buzz if the if the system is getting too hot and it's trying to turn the fan up but it can't because that stops it so if, if the system does get too hot it'll tell you it'll start to buzz and eventually the system will turn off if it gets too hot anyway here's the hard drive it's just a pretty old 80 gig um, Western digital drive it's really old actually because it's still got a Molex power connector and the SATA power connector, I just used SATA because that was what was going to reach. Um, and there's the cable for it, SATA 2. It's a really old drive. Um, I don't keep anything saved on this machine, so if anything, if this drive breaks, it's no big deal. I can just reinstall Windows and reinstall the front end on it. So yeah, so it's a pretty basic build. Does what it needs to do and yeah. I have it running Windows 7 Ultimate 32-bit with Xbox Media Center Frodo as a front end and it's the way I've set it up is I've just set it up as a startup item so as soon as you turn the PC on it log in go straight to it I didn't bother cutting out a lot of the UI or anything out of Windows because I still want to be able to use this machine for browsing the web and stuff as well on my TV so yeah this video has probably run a bit too long so other than that, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll try and upload some more soon. Also, hopefully, I'll be getting up to 100 subscribers soon, so I'm really excited for that. I'll do a special video as soon as I get to 100 subscribers, and yeah, so that's all there is for me to say. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.